Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to run Palworld on Android, using this window emulator Mobox. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing to do is download these three applications. That we need to run Windows games, I will drop the link on the description. Now let's set up the first app, follow all my guides to avoid any errors. Now open Termix applications and allow all pop-up notifications. In this part you need to copy a command to start automatically installing all files needed. Just simply copy-paste the command. That is given on the official Termix website, the link is in description. After you paste the command this will take a minute to finish. Just allow all pop-up notification. One hour later. When it's done just type the command mobox to start the next setup. Follow all my guide to avoid any errors. Open again the Termix app or type Mobox command. To continue the next setup. Select Manage Packages. Install Wine. Now type a command number 1. It will automatically download all files needed. Wait until the installing is complete. Next open Termix X11. Preferences. Now copy my settings. Next let's set up the input bridge. This app may allow you to set up a key mapping management. You can import some game profile or set up by your own key mapping. You can download all key profiles I will also leave the link on the description.
Now this is the last part of setup. Open Termix type mobox command. Start wine click OK. The first time you start wine, it will automatically download all resources. In this part just click start. Install. When it's done let's try the PAL world game. To install the game simply add X or ISO file type. And always put your game in your internal storage download folder. Double tap the X file. I forgot to mention you need to open your input bridge app. To visible the key mapping settings in the top right corner just click the gear icon. And the key mapping will appear. At my first time trying this mobox I was impressed. Because PAL World is a very hot topic in any game community and it works fine on my Snapdragon 778G. But still I need to set up more settings to improve this emulator on my Android phone. What about your thoughts about this update, comment down below. If you want more videos like this please hit that subscribe button and bell icon to notify you on my latest upload. Thanks for watching, see you on my next update.